All right, now we're gonna use our mentor text, Growing Vegetable Soup, to make our own book about growing vegetable soup. So, we could, um, we have to think of a title for our book first. We could just call it, call it Growing Vegetable Soup, like Lois Ellert, or we could say How to Grow Vegetable Soup. Let's do that one since we've been calling it How to Writing. So I'm gonna write for my title, How, capital H, O, W, How. And if you wanna make a book with me, friends, you just need um, paper and a pencil and you can make your own book at home too. And I'll go slow so you can write the words too, okay? How to, how do we spell the word to? T, O. How to grow. Let's sound out grow, ready? G, R, O. That's four sounds that I hear. The first one is G, G. What letter says G, G? G, G, R. What letter says R, R? G, R, O. O, and what comes at the end? Grow, W, W, W. I'm gonna have to write my W small so I can squeeze it in there. Good. How to grow vegetable. Now, vegetable is a really long word with a lot of sounds. V, E, J, T, A, B, O. Whew. I don't know if I can sound that out. Does anybody see somewhere they think I might be able to find the word vegetable? You got it, it's right here in my title. So whenever you're writing, friends, if you know that that word is somewhere in your book that you're using to help you, you can copy it right out of that book. So here's the word vegetable. I know this one says vegetable because it starts with v, v, v. Let's check our letters, v, e, j, vegetable. Yep, so I'm gonna write my word vegetable, ready? Let's write it together. V, E, G, E, T, A, B, L, E. How to grow vegetable, and then we're gonna write soup. Do you see the word soup in our title? Yep, it's this one right here, S-O-U-P. So we're gonna write S-O-U-P. P, soup, okay. And then I'm gonna write by Mrs. P in the bottom. Are you gonna write by Mrs. P? No, he, right here where I wrote Mrs. P on this line, you're gonna write your name. So write B-Y by and then write your name. All right, let's turn to our first page. I'm gonna make some lines across the top. If you're doing that on your page, you can do that too. If your lines are not straight across your paper, that is okay. They can be crooked lines. We can write on crooked lines. Okay, if we're telling a book of how to do things in order, what do you think we should put on this page that's telling us the first step we need to do? I like to start with the word first. So let's start with the word first. Ready? F Er, I, R, first, S, T. So write the word first, F, I, R, S, T. First, okay, what was the first step for making our soup and growing our vegetable soup? First, we had to plant the seeds. So let's write, first, you plant the seeds. Okay, we have first, our next word is? You. Does anyone know how to spell the sight word you? Y-O-U. Great job. First, you. Now we're going to write the word plant. P-L-A-N-T. Okay, P-L-A-N-T. P-P. P. P-O. What letter says O? L. P-L-A-N. And, ooh, I think that's one of our sight words, and. How do we spell and? A-N, A-N, plant, t, 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 good job. First, you plant the, the is one of our sight words. How do we spell the? T, 
H E the awesome okay first you plant the seeds okay I don't think I can fit the word seeds up here so I'm gonna have to make another line let's sound out the word seeds s e d s s e d s s, -s. what's my first letter gonna be s s e e do we remember it's an e but what do we remember special about inside the word seeds when we looked at two e's mm-hmm s e d d s e d s what goes on the end to make it more than one seed yes the letter s first you plant the seeds and we'll put our period okay i'm going to draw a picture really quickly on the bottom i'm going to make some soil across the bottom Okay, and then um, I'll put some seeds down in the dirt, okay? And then do you remember what Lois Ellert did? She labeled on all her things where she put little uh, tags up. That, those could be where you could write your vegetables, like T for tomato, P for potato, C for carrot, all like that, okay? All right, first you plant the seeds. Let's go to the next page. Okay, we said first, what word should we use for the next part? We could say then or next. Which one should we put? Let's do then. The, the, T-H-E-N, the, N. Then, okay, then, what did we do after we planted our seeds? We had to give them water and sunlight, mm -hmm. and we had to do what? Wait while they grew. So let's say, then you, Y-O-U, then you, let's say, watch them grow. Then you watch, watch. Watch is W A T. That's kind of a hard hard to sound out. So W A T, write that. W A T. And then at the end we need ch 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 ch. What two letters say ch ch like your chin? C H. So we're going to do C H. Then you watch. What are we watching? Our vegetables grow okay now let's look we could say then you watch the vegetables grow okay or instead of saying the vegetables we could say them then you watch them grow so let's say them the eh, mm, T -h -e -m, them then you watch them grow G -r Oh. Okay, what do you think we should put in our pictures to show that our vegetables are growing? Maybe we could draw them as sprouts, okay? So they're growing a little bit, but not all the way grown yet. So I'm going to make my soil again across the bottom, which I just did a curvy line. And then I'm going to make some sprouts growing. So I make a stem like this, and then one leaf, and another leaf. Your other sprout you could make taller if you want to. Do two lines for your stem. Make one leaf, another leaf, another leaf. Okay, let's do one more. Maybe we'll make this one really tall. And we could do one, two, three, four leaves on that one. And those are all growing. If you want to put your labels back in, you could put your little label sticks on there. Like for carrots, potatoes, tomatoes, whichever ones you're growing. Okay, then you watch them grow. Let's do another page. Okay, first we plant the seeds, then we wait for the vegetables to grow, and then what do we do? Yeah, the next thing we have to do is we have to pick the vegetables. And what else did they do once they picked the vegetables? They washed them mm -hmm, and they cut them. That's a lot of things. Let's see if we can write that. Ready? So let's say next. N, N, 
N e e e n x. What letter says x x x x? Mhm. Mm next t t. Next u y o u u. Next u. Let's say next you pick, wash, and cut them. Okay, so we're gonna say pick. Wash and cut them. Next, you pick, p, e, k, k. Okay, and in this word, pick, it's the k with both letters that say k together. Which two letters go together to say k, k? A C and a K, okay? Next, you pick, we'll put a comma, wash, w, a, sh. What two letters say sh, 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 sh? S. H. Next, you pick, wash, and. And. How do we spell and? That's one of our sight words. A, N, D. And. Next, you pick, wash, and cut. K, ut. K, ut. Next, you pick, wash, and cut them. Let's make another line here for them. The, M, them. And since I didn't need my line to go all the way across, I left some space to put my picture. Okay, next we pick, wash, and cut them. Whew. All right, so let's make a picture of our vegetables. I'm going to make a table this time. Okay, and on my table, I'm going to draw some vegetables being cut. So I'm going to make a cucumber. Here's like the part of it that didn't get cut yet. And then over here, I'm gonna make little pieces of my cucumber that already got cut. All right, and then you might put, um, if you want to, you could put a knife next to your cucumbers. There's a knife cutting the cucumbers, okay? Um, you could also put them being washed or you could put them in a bowl. I'm gonna make a bowl here and put some lettuce in my bowl. Maybe that's going in my uh, soup and maybe a tomato. All right, next you pick, wash, and cut them. All right, we're gonna only have one more page in our, in our book, friends, so we need to think of all the steps we need to finish the soup. So once we washed and cut the vegetables, then what? We need to put it in a pot and cook them, and then we have to eat it. So the important parts to put on this page are cook the soup, and eat the soup. So let's say last 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 you how do we spell you? Y O U last you cook. K uh uh is O O K cook C O O K cook last you cook and and eat e a t eat last you cook and eat it it all right last you cook and eat it and for our um, picture for this page i think i'm gonna make like sometimes i like to make two parts for my picture so i'm gonna make a line underneath and on this page, I'm gonna make the stove. Here's the stove, there's the burner. I'm gonna make a pot like this. Here's the pot, here's the pot's handle. And I'm gonna put, sometimes I put like little steam lines. That's the steam coming from the soup. And if you wanted to, you could put a spoon sticking out like this. Like it's just the end of the spoon sticking out, okay? That's our soup being cooked. And last, we need to make our eating our soup. So for eating it, let's make the picture like we saw on the last page of this book. So Lois Ellert's picture showed the soup bowl like you were looking down at your soup bowl. And I think that looks really cool because we just need to make a circle for the inside of the bowl, a, the soup, a circle for the outside of the bowl, and the spoon. So I think we can do that. So let's do, start with a big circle. Okay, and if your circle is not that much like a circle, that's okay. It can be a silly shaped soup bowl. Then you're going to make your soup inside. 
okay? And then you can make your handle of your spoon sticking out. Or if you want to, you can make your spoon sitting on the table next to it. So you just make a circle and then two lines for your spoon. Inside our vegetable soup, let's put some little um, pictures for vegetables, okay? So you might have like a little, you can make any shape you want, a little piece of pepper. You can make a circle if you wanna make it swirly. That could be a piece of onion. You could put a piece of carrot, however you want. Just make some little shapes in there. And then when you go back in color, you can use different colors depending on what it is. So if that was a carrot, I'd make it orange. If that was an onion, you might do this kind of tannish color. Uh, maybe you have a green pepper in there. Maybe you have a tomato. That would be what color? Red. Oh, I can't find my red. I'll have to do this red orange. That looks kind of red. Okay. Uh, maybe you have, what did we put? A piece of cucumber. And then you can color in your broth, which is usually kind of orangey or brown, or you can make your vegetable soup whatever color you want. And don't forget to color your bowl. Okay, I went back and colored while I paused the video. Now we're gonna read our whole book. Ready, can you read with me? One, two, three. How to grow vegetable soup by Mrs. P. First, you plant the seeds. The N. Then you watch the M. Them grow. Next. Next, you pick. Pick, wash, and cut. Cut them. Next, you pick, wash, and cut them. Full ass. Last, you cook, cook, and, and eat it. Last, you cook and eat it. If you want to add another page, you can say the end. 